Kimberly Murray, thank you so much for speaking with us. My first question for you is, you talk in your report about a policy of enforced disappearances. Can you explain what that is and what that means? Um, absolutely. Um, I wanted to really um, drive home in the report that we don't just have missing children, we have kids that have been disappeared by the state. Um, enforced disappearances uh, happen when the liberty of a person is taken away from them and because of actions of the state. We know that the state created the Indian residential school policy and took the children and deprived them of their liberty. Um, and the second part of enforced disappearances is that um, the state conceals the fate of the children. And so because we don't know what happened to the kids, because we have these laws that are blocking access to archives, uh, the fate of the children is being concealed by the federal government. Um, and so that's why I say that they are disappeared children. Um, if the children are disappeared by the state, that triggers a number of international obligations on the state to provide proper uh, mechanisms of investigation to find the children, to find the truth, to support the investigations for uh, the missing and disappeared children. Let's talk about that. One of your key recommendations is sustainable and ongoing federal government funding for searches. Why is this so important? Uh, well, we saw that uh, play out in the summer when Canada cut the, cut the funding to uh, the teams that are doing these investigations on the sites. Um, we can't treat uh, the search for missing and disappeared children as a program. Uh, Canada has legal obligations, international le legal obligations to support these investigations. And we can't have Canada do the investigations. They can't investigate their own wrongdoing. And that's why we need an Indigenous-led uh, commission of investigations to support communities doing these types of uh, searches and investigations into the missing and disappeared children. Why is that important to set up an Indigenous-led commission of, of investigation for these searches? Well, we know that the investigation processes that we have in Canada and the provinces have all failed Indigenous people. Um, there's a whole chapter in my final report that talks about the failed investigations while the Indian residential schools were operating, how very little was ever done when a child died. There was very few investigations of their deaths. Um, and uh, when perpetrators were known to have existed, uh, they weren't prosecuted and they were moved around to other residential schools or even out of the country. Um, we can't rely on the death investigation systems that we have. And so we need a new mechanism, a new truth recovery mechanism, and it has to be Indigenous-led. Um, that can apply Indigenous laws, recognize Indigenous sovereignty, uh, and comply with international human rights, um, uh, human rights processes. Finally, Kimberly, what impact will your work have on the survivor community? Um, well, what I really wanted to do with this report was to make sure their voices were captured at the six nas national gatherings that I held. Um, I showed that video before I released the public report, um, and I think you saw all the messages that I write about in my report were messages that I heard from the survivors and community members at the national gatherings. So I wanted to make sure they understood that I've been listening um, to what they've been telling me, and I've been following their direction around what the obligations Canada has. Um, I wanted to create a document, a report that I can hand to community members um, where a lot of the preliminary research and work has been done, that they can look at these other avenues for justice and accountability. And, and I hope I've been able to do that in, in, in a little way at least. Kimberly, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. That's Special Interlocutor for Missing Children, Unmarked Graves and Burial Sites, Kimberly Murray. Thanks for this.